Moving on now, we want to join that Excel spreadsheet that we downloaded to our arc map shape file. And the, we have a few things that we have to do to the Excel spreadsheet before it will join with the arc map uh, shape file. And basically, whenever you're joining, what's going to end up happening is that you're going to take one, what the computer does is it takes one of these values here in one of these columns and it relates it to another table of values. So you want this to match the GeoID 10, for example, to match here and on the spreadsheet. So let's check out our spreadsheet. Go ahead and open that up in Excel. And what you see here is a bunch of values. And this is what we're gonna have later as our attributes. And for an ID, we have here a GeoID 2. If we look here, we have GeoID 2 48, 0, 0, 0, 1, 9, 5, 0, 100. I want to go here and check and see if there's something similar to that. And I can see here under GeoID 10, 48001950100, 0, 0, 100, exactly the same as this one. So whenever I do my join, I'm going to be relating this column, GeoID 10, to this column here, which is GeoID 2. But in order to bring this spreadsheet into ArcMap, there's a few modifications we're going to have to make because ArcMap's not as savvy as Excel in the way it looks. So you can see here all these columns of information on the top are going to have problems. Basically, ArcMap wants to have a line for the labels of the columns and then information underneath it. So it pretty much wants everything from here, ID, and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that information from the top and not use it. And what you can do is either delete what's going on up here or you can make a whole new uh, worksheet. And I'm, I'm going to do a whole new worksheet this time so, in order I, so I, I can keep this data intact. This way I can keep on going back to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on line number nine and you can see how it selects the whole line scroll to the bottom and then I'm going to shift click you can see we have a lot of data here I'm going to shift click on line number 5274 for you you might have different amounts of tracks that's going to select all these then I'm going to go to copy which I can either type control C or I can click on this home tab on the ribbon and click copy and then I'm going to go and make a new worksheet by clicking this little button here at the bottom called insert worksheet and then I'll just click here and then I'll paste and that's going to paste in my data so this right now is already looking a lot better for ArcMap to understand because it only has one line at the top next thing that we need to do is that we need to think about what the names here are saying. So estimate, what does that mean? Uh, margin of error, what, like, what is this estimate really looking at? And if I look here, back here, onto here, I can see that I have households, households, information like that, households, one race, white. And the only information, the only problem is I need this information here instead of estimate margin errors. I need the, them to be combined. So go through and I'm going to go through here and say households, for example, and I'm going to copy these. And here's total and median. So actually I want total and median to be copied. So I'm going to actually copy this over, copy that, and then go over to my sheet one. And I'm going to paste that here and overwrite what's written there. So now it says median income and total and so forth. Keep on doing this over and over. Um, one thing that you also need to be worried about is this information, the way it's written. ArcMap's not going to like these super long names. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to like make it say Mead Inc. Dollars. You know, for example, I'll just take off dollars. I know it's in dollars. And then clean this up. And I would normally want to keep on doing this for the rest of the incomes also, for especially for the races and so forth. That's what I was analyzing. 
for now I'm going to just leave it how it is. Um, that's why I have the original. I can go back and get information off of it. For now all I want to do is map out the median income for the population total and then also the total population there. So here actually I can put here total population. So I know that it means population. If I go back here and look, I can see here's total population. Here we have margin of errors. So here I can put error. Even though error is not going to come up often in this analysis, but maybe in later analysis, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the error like this error. So I know what I know what's happening there. The other information I don't really need for this analysis. So I'm just going to go through and delete it all. Again, I just click the first one and then after I shift click the last one that selects all of them here. All the columns are selected now and then I can right click and say delete and that's going to get rid of that. So now this uh, spreadsheet here looks really good for ArcMap. You have one line across the top. You have information here inside here. Actually, I'm going to delete geography too. And my ID 2 right here is going to match this ID, a Geo ID 10. So actually, I'm going to even delete this information and just have only ID. And I'll just call it Geo ID to make it simpler. And I will rename my sheet by uh, right clicking on sheet 1 at the bottom tab and say rename. And I'm going to call it data. And go ahead and hit save, file save as and I want to save it as this time because I want to save it as an Excel spreadsheet instead of this comma separated value so I'm going to just go here to Excel workbook and I'm going to call it here median income Inc Texas 10 and try to be descriptive in your names and so forth so whenever you see it like a year from now you're like oh, okay I remember what that is I'm going to go ahead and save that one thing also to think about is saving it a second time because of sharing violations and so forth. So I'm going to call this medium ink text 10 underscore 2 so I know that it's a second. Or actually underscore back for backup. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of times whenever you're working with ArcMap, if something goes wrong, you might have a sharing violation, it might corrupt your Excel spreadsheet, and then everything that you worked on is just gone. So just go ahead and save a backup version of it too. And then after you're done with that, go ahead and escape out of Excel. Uh, Excel. Just go ahead and close it down. This is going to prevent sharing violations. So that's going to be our Excel work to prepare it for the join.